Hello everyone, how are you doing? How are you doing? Well, my name is Adam Mustafa. Welcome for my YouTube channel, Modern Mathematics. I hope you like this video and if you like this video. But uh, what I need from you, I need you to watch the video until the end. And I'm sure you will be surprised about this kind of the equation and how to solve this kind of the equation. Because this one called the hardest uh, an equation, the quadratic equation. Uh, the equation saying if uh, alpha and beta are roots of the equation x power 2 plus x times root alpha plus beta equals 0 find all the possible values of alpha and beta okay let's solve this one okay already we have this the equation x power 2 plus x root alpha plus beta equal Zero. We know already this quadratic equation because the degree here two. That's good. Okay. We know already the uh, general formula for solving the uh, quadratic equation. Here we have here this the uh, general equation a x power two plus b x plus c equals zero. If we are going to compare this one by this one. Here a equals one, and here b equals here. It will be here here b. It will be here uh, root of alpha, and c here. What it will be c here? It will be here beta. And we know already the general formula for that. X equals okay uh, minus b. Positive or negative square root p power 2 minus 4ac divided by 2a. We are going to substitute here so that x equals minus alpha positive and negative square root of here square root of alpha power 2 minus 4 times 1 times beta divide by what divide by 2 okay that's a good so that if we are going to uh, simplify this one here x equals minus square root alpha positive or negative and here it will be here this one cancel with this one and we have here alpha minus 4 beta all this one divided by 2 okay let's go to for the next step we let alpha equals minus square root of alpha okay positive here Square root alpha minus 4 beta divided by what? Divided by 2. And to call this one equation 1. Okay. And also let beta equals here minus alpha. Here it will be here minus square root of alpha minus 4 beta. Okay, and also divide by what? Divide by 2. And to call this one equation 2. Okay, that's good. What I'm going to do, what, what I'm going to do after, I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 2. Okay, I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 2. And we know already this uh, formula A plus B, this is square proof to square a minus b equals a square minus b square minus b square right a square minus b square we are going to do like this one here so that alpha alpha times beta it will be here minus square root alpha plus 
square root of alpha minus 4 beta. Okay, divide by 2 times minus alpha square root of alpha minus square root of alpha. Okay, minus 4 beta divided by 2. That's a good. Okay. Uh, here, the denominator would be 4. 2 times 2 would be here 4. And then, here it would be here in the numerator here, minus square root of alpha power 2, minus here also square root of alpha minus 4 beta power 2. Okay, that's good. So that here, here we have alpha, after simplify alpha times beta, it will be here alpha minus alpha minus 4 beta over 4 over what over 4 okay and this one equals beta that's a good so that here this one all all uh, it will be as beta so that we have this equation alpha beta minus beta equals what zero take beta as a common factor it will be here alpha minus one equals what zero okay so that the beta equal zero and alpha minus one equals zero so that here alpha equals what equals one okay so that now we have here, we have here alpha equals one and the beta equals one. Okay, that's a good. That's a good for the next step. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add equation one, equation one plus equation two, because he asking asking me all the possible values. Okay. If you are going to add them, we well, you know already alpha plus beta, we can memorize alpha, it will be minus square root alpha plus square root alpha minus 4 beta divided by 2, this one, it will be same, but only we are going to here change the signs, minus here. Uh, alpha minus 4 beta divided by 2 and here this it will be here this one it will be here minus alpha because this one cancel with this one okay so that because the numerator will be same because we are only adding the numerators okay divide by 2 plus here minus square root alpha Divide by what? By 2. So that alpha plus beta equals the numerator, it will be what? Minus square root of alpha. Okay, that's good. If, for example, if, okay, we already here get alpha equals 1 from here, if alpha equals 1. Okay. So that alpha plus beta equals minus alpha. We are going to substitute alpha equals 1 plus beta. Alpha 1 plus beta equals minus, okay, square root of 1. So that if we are going to solve this one, beta equals what? Beta because here it would be here 1. And you are going to bring this one here so that the beta equals what? Minus 2. Okay. From this one. Already we get now beta minus 2. That's a good. If. From the ones that were solved already. If, if beta. Equals 0. If beta. Equals. 
zero. So that alpha plus beta equals minus square root alpha. So that here alpha plus beta or alpha plus zero. We substitute the beta with zero. Okay, equals minus square root alpha. Okay, that's good. So that here we have here here we have here alpha plus zero equals what equals minus square root alpha. That's a good. Here we are going to bring this one another side alpha plus square root alpha equals what equals zero. Okay, we are going to rewrite this one in another way. So that will be here square root alpha times square root square root alpha plus one. Okay, equals what? Equals zero. So that square root alpha equals zero and square root here plus one equals zero here alpha equals zero and here alpha equals what equals here equals what equals here so with this one it will be here alpha our square alpha minus one if you are going to take here uh, are going to a power or taking the square root for both okay this one will be cancel and here it will be one here one so that all the possible all the possible values here alpha and the beta alpha and the beta it will be here already the zero and the zero it will be and we get one and the zero from the first and we get second one it will be here it will be here uh, one and the minus two and on the minus what two so that this one all the possible values for alpha and the beta can be for this equation uh, the equation it was from the beginning it was x power 2 plus x square root alpha plus beta all these values can be the alpha and the beta if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and to share for more videos thank you have a nice day